Hey there guys, my name is The Reaper and in today's video I'm just going to be playing a bit more PvK2 purely because since I did my Taking the Butchers, which is my first impression series on this game I've just got back into it, I've been having loads of fun with it If you want to see that video, if you click in the annotation in the bottom right hand corner you can see there Click on that, that will give you my first impressions video so that will give you a bit more information about the game's kind of mechanics and my overall more kind of informative thoughts on that This uh, Today's video is just going to be a bit of fun, nothing intelligent or particularly informative today. I'm just having loads of fun playing the game as I said, so I thought maybe I can share that fun with some other people. So sit back, relax and enjoy. I'm playing a bit of booty on island and I'm playing as the pirate captain who is my favourite class because he has a parrot and he can throw it at people and he has a peg leg and lots of interesting mechanics. So a uh, really fun game, so basically booty is a game mode in which it involves you capturing chests. So if you look at the top there, that's uh, how many chests everyone's got. So the knights who are in blue have got three, there's six in total, and they start with them all. Uh, the vikings currently got none, and my team, the pirates, have currently got none as well. The idea is you've got to capture the uh, chests, you can see them sort of a moment ago, you, had a, you saw sort of people uh, running around with them. You've got to capture the chests, pick them up, and take them back to your team's base. If you do that, the more chests you've got, the faster that number at the top is going to tick down. If it goes all the way to zero, your team is going to win the game. So the first team to hit zero is going to win the game. The more chests you've got, the faster that number is going to go down. So I'm not really going to be explaining today how kind of the mechanics work. I'm just going to be kind of having a bit of fun with it. So if you want a bit more information on the actual practical aspects of the game, as I say, click on the uh, that annotation to my first impressions video. So that's one chest we've grabbed there. Other than that, I'm just going to be dicking around, throwing parrots at people, stabbing them, firing blunderbusses, and generally having a good time. So if you weren't already aware, this game is a completely free source mod, so it's a bit dated low, looks a bit dated, but it's still good fun to play. Entirely free, you don't even need Half-Life 2 to play this, so just download the source SDK base on Steam, search PvK2, or Pirates, Vikings and Knights 2 is the full title, and uh, just download it for free, so you've got nothing to lose. And this is kind of one of those source mods that's been around for literally about 7 or 8 years now, it's been around for ages, and I don't think it ever got the recognition it really deserved. The developers have kind of been developing it for years I've kind of stuck with it despite the fact that it's had a dedicated following just going to pick up this chest and get myself shot there we go as I was saying before I got interrupted um, it's kind of got a dedicated following that plays it a lot if you got there's not many servers and you a lot of the time you'll see a lot of the same players the kind of regulars and I think it would be nice if a lot more people sort of tried this game out gave it a fair shot nothing to lose as I said it's a free game and it's just really good fun completely free source mod so Pirates Vikings and Knights 2 on Steam I recommend anyone pick it up. There go the army of our skirmishers. So this is the island map. This is probably the most popular map. So we've just nabbed ourselves a chest. That's going to give me a bit of armor and health. So the Vikings have now got three. The balance of power has shifted a bit. So we're going to try and maybe attack them and nick some of their chests. So the beauty of this game is, amongst just kind of how much fun it is to play, the uh, beauty of kind of the three t uh, three team systems because you've got the pirates, the Vikings, and the knights. If one team, so for example, in this case, it's the uh, Vikings who are winning. The balance of power keeps naturally shifting, so if one team is, tends to be dominating the game, both other teams tend to converge on them, otherwise that team is basically going to win the game. So everyone's probably going to converge on the Vikings now, because they've got four chests. The balance of power is going to shift, the chances are they're not going to be able to hold off all the other two teams. And so then the another team is going to start winning, and then again that team is going to have to defend itself from kind of all comers once again. So you utilise the whole map, everyone's got a fair chance to win if you focus on the objective lagging a bit here sorry about that so even if one team tends to be a bit better than the others the fact that you're going to have sort of temporary alliances between two teams I wouldn't say temporary alliances because you can still attack other players and you should however the Knights and in this case the Pirates my team are probably going to converge on the Vikings because they're currently winning and again if we get most of the chests they're going to be attacking us so I think it'd be nice if a lot of people tried to just give this game a try maybe the developers can get a bit more recognition they can expand their player base a bit, maybe they can just get a bit of extra credit, I think they deserve, I think they've done a really good job making a very fun and I think very underrated source mod. Defend my team from that, so we managed to grab one of their chests, Vikings managed to grab one of the uh, Knights chests there, so again I think we're going to go for the Vikings. So I will apologise in advance, I have to try to edit the audio slightly because there's a lot of fast paced movement, my keyboard does make a lot of sound. And have to try and edit out any sort of other audio that gets picked up in the microphone recording, so it is a bit of a pain. So I apologise if the audio you still hear a bit of keyboard sound or a bit of audio distortion through due to the editing. 
So I apologise about that in advance, but hopefully we should be able to remove most of it. So what I've just loaded up there, if you look around my portrait in the bottom left hand corner, you can see I've got this uh, sparkling sort of yellowy orange ring around me. That basically means my special meter's charged. As you do damage, your special meter's going to charge up, and that's going to allow you to use your special attack, which in my case is firing a big ass motherfucking blunderbuss at whoever I see fit. So everyone has a, each class of each team has a unique special ability. So the Huskull here can do a cool shield charge. This is a berserker that's trying to attack me. He can go into berserk mode which basically makes him run around, do a load of extra damage, gives him more health, makes him a lot more dangerous. Alternatively, if you grab a chest and you've got a small, full special meter, as I have now, I'm going to try and grab one of the chests, you can get a temporary speed boost if you manage to grab a chest. I'm going to press F. Burma special to try and get a bit of a speed boost, see if I can escape these guys, which is unlikely because there's lots of them. So you can use your special either to use your special ability or to get a bit of a speed boost. And unfortunately got taken down there, tried to block. I think we managed to get a chest, managed to delay them a bit. I don't see much of the uh, Knights today, unfortunately the Vikings are still winning. Here comes my team, maybe we can get them in. Other thing I like about this game is, if you want to just dick around and like an idiot, you're going to have a lot of fun doing so. However, the combat system is basic enough that anyone can pick it up. However, advanced enough that if you are a very skilled player, you can still uh, sort of lord it over other players. You can still sort of... Your skill is going to be rewarded over other players, you're going to find yourself better, however, you're not going to be, if you're a new player, you're not going to be alienated, because the game is still really good fun, even if you're not a perfect timing in combat, you don't power, you don't, your timing isn't perfect, you can still have a lot of fun playing. So it's kind of a rare case of a game that is able to cater to kind of skilled players who can do really well with the combat system, and new players who just want to kind of mess around maybe a bit, or are still learning. You work, you'll generally find it manages to fit both markets, so again I'm going to load up my special, just charge it up. So I managed to get a chest off them, I'm going to fire this into their area, and then hopefully I can grab a chest. <laughs> yeah, do you mate? Let's grab some of these chests while they're not looking. Don't think I can escape with this one, but maybe I can save my teammate, buy him some time. send the parrot after him and again the game's got no sense of seriousness you can throw parrots at people and it's going to throw a parrot at the viking to kill him because why the hell not even though the special is really good fun as well you can play the man at arms who's the stereotypical comic relief frenchman he's basically straight out he's ripped straight out of monty python and the holy grail and he does a really big fart and creates a big green gas cloud that you want to avoid because you'll die if you go in it and he'll do more damage to you if you get infected by his toxic fart cloud that's this man here, actually there's one. I want to see him use the special just to just to show it off. It's really good fun. Of course a roll as well, and you can do kicks as well. Because he's got his ranged weapons out, I'm gonna throw my parrot at him. Oh, oh no, got Polly got shot out of the sky. Eat my boomstick. <laughs> I never get tired of this game, it's it's just so much fun, even if you're not even if you don't win. Uh, whatever round of with whatever team you're playing with, even if you do lose, you've had a, you've normally one of those games you've just had a laugh anyway. In no way should you take this seriously. As you can see my orange glowing teammate there. That means he's got a chest. So I think the Vi Vikings have now, due to the balance shift, they got a lot of their tickets down, so they're only on 59. Or have they lost all their chests because everyone started attacking them? So now the knights have got a few. We've got a couple as well. I think someone's attacking us though. So I think we're going to go back. Slight lads uh, lag spike there. Apologies. So as I say, I'll do my best to remove any outward keyboard sounds or something from the audio. But uh, it's not always that simple, unfortunately. Get a bit of lag as well. If you do see any lag, think it's not a consistent thing in the game. The game normally runs fine occasionally. There goes the fart. There goes the Frenchman's fart and has infected some people. I don't consistently get lag. I think I'm just my internet or maybe the server's having a bit of trouble today. But normally the game runs fine. And uh, you can normally get a low ping if you join a server in your time zone. So no real issues there. Performance seems to be pretty good. Low on bugs. And any bugs you do get quite amusing anyway. Plus you do get the amusing source ragdoll effects as well. So if you chuck a spear at a guy you can probably pin into a wall. It's always good fun. It's a game you get loads of funny screenshots out. If you go on the Reddit or if you go on the uh, Steam forums you'll get loads of amusing screenshots of weird occurrences. Right, let's get my big boomstick. Light it up with flames. Slight freeze. 
So we just had to have a, have a brief cut in the video there, just had a slight lag spike. I think nearly disconnected, but we seem to be okay. Okay, we are now on 100 and we seem to be winning. Not many people attacking us. So I think I'm going to go attack the Vikings because they've got three that we might be able to get a chest off them. At the very least, that should slow them down a bit. Here they go. So he's got the range weapon out. So I'm going to throw a parrot at him. Uh, oh, I'm trying to recall it just before he uh, attacked me. Oh, nice spinning uh, whirlwind attack from the uh, heavy knight there. That's his special. Let's see if I can get my boomstick. Oh, didn't quite get him. Most taken down, so mm, hopefully slow the knights down, stop them taking our chests. Oh, taken out. Good crossbow shot there. Right, two have we got. So he's still on. Th Who was that? There he is. There's a secret guest here. That's the spear throwing Viking. Excuse me, about time to deal with you. I'm going to chase this guy down. Stop <laughs> pointing that thing at me. Oh, hit them all, lovely. Right, hopefully if you can hold them off, I can go after the man at arms. Drop that chest, that's mine. Oh, I missed my timing there. Oh, you got him, nice one. Oh, I threw that chest away to stop him getting it, but I managed to get it back. Good job, I'll protect my teammate, maybe. No, nope, he got crossbowed. Oh, there's, there's an arc. <laughs> okay, yeah, there were some archers in those tunnels. Oh, dear. So, unfortunately, I think they are going to get that chest. So, it's going to be a very close game, actually. I love having a close game. As I say, no one is... Even if you do well early on, you're by no means guaranteed of winning, because... In a game like this, it's fast-paced enough. The balance, of, the balance of power, I said, is going to shift so often you got to keep on your toes all the time. Remember, it's objective game. You've got to, it's not about your kills, it's about your chests. Excuse me. Let's right, see if we can get the team together to attack the Vikings. This should make for an interesting attack. Even if we don't win, maybe we'll have a bit of a laugh having a big fight in the Vikings area. To lead the charge. Only two of us have that left to do, I think. I've got a couple here. Should have just gone for the chest really, but there we are. Fully charged. It's got one chest moving, Vikings have lost all their chests. Just make sure he's protected. Can load in my special while I'm waiting. So I think we might be able to edge this out if we can hold on to these two chests. I think we're in gonna be in line to win. Humiliation. I think I better go back and defend anyway. Try and do a mass. I think we should yeah, we, we're definitely gonna be winning if we can hold these two chests. The Vikings the knights even have got four. However, they've got too many points to win at this point, so I think if everyone defends, we might be able to hold them off for long enough. Drop anchor, defend. Is he dead? He's dead. I'm not quite sure what happened there. He must be a bit of a ragdoll bug. Excuse me, mate. I think you'll find that's mine. Come on, you can't get away. Fully charge the tank to break through the block with the archers on it. That chest will respawn ours if they don't pick it up in a certain amount of time. I think it's about to, after 10 seconds, if it's still on the ground, it will respawn our area. I think we managed to pick it up. Here come the Vikings. Nice little shield wall, that was cool looking when it came through. Bloody hell, that was a keggy threw at them. Ah. Parrot got taken down. You can recall your parrot. Oh, to get a parrot kill though in the top right. So the Viking, uh, Vi <laughs> keep mixing the teams up. Pirates even explosions, explosions, everything explodes. So you see the keg strapped to these skirmishers back there. 
he can basically decide to pull that out, moves really slow, lights it up, lobs it in a big fight, and when it explodes, it really explodes. Defend this place, lads. Let's see if I can help my teammate. Oh, good. Oh, that's the spear charge of the guest here, that's his special ability. Managed to take him down. Oh, there you go. There you go, there's the keg. If he lands that, he's going to take him all out. My explosive attack is another keg there. Thankfully, team damage is off, so I won't be effective. I will let you know in advance, you will be killed by your own keg. All he's doing is fart there, but I got him. That's what I'm saying, when he, when he gets to this kind of clutch stages at the end, Running out of tickets, everyone's coming at you, you've got to defend your chest. I don't think I've ever had this much excitement from a free game before. Got some health back. Reloaded. Parrots respawned. You can also punch people, you can punch people to death, it's quite fun. Oh, you got him through the gap. Right, Parrot. Get him, Parrot. Oh my god, he's fucking Agincourt. There's loads of them. Stay away from our, our goal. Oh no, they're taken down. They might nick him. Oh, what a shot! Look at that. If they stand on the uh, if they stand on that pallet that we're dropping our chests on, they uh, they can stop the timer ticking down as well. We've got what? One chest, two points. Come on, Parrot. Yes, Parrot can about the end. Clutch victory. Brilliant. Awesome. That's what I was looking for. So that's BVK two in a nutshell. I've never had so much fun with a free game. And I'm glad I picked it up. So thank you very much guys for watching. If you like the video, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.